Hi boys and girls, today's lesson is going to be on um, fractions um, that are greater than a whole. So for example, this first problem that we look at for an example is, um, then she cut each of the other whole apples in half. She gave all of the half apples to her friends. So if we look at this beginning part right here, okay, and she's giving away her apples, we know that if she gave away one half, and then another half, that would make one whole. And then she did that again. So one and a half and then two, which makes two whole apples. And then she gives one more half away. So it would be one apple, two apples, and then a half of an apple. So that can be written like this, 2 and 1 half. As we work through the problems today, I want us to think about, we've been working with fractions and halves of um, pieces. Now when we have two halves, it makes a whole, and this is where we talk about fractions that are greater than one. So we have one whole apple plus another one, which is two whole apples, and then we have one half left over. Here are a few examples. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. This first one. So we have these two whole circles. I always like to talk about pizzas. So if I think about this first half, um, and I split this circle in half. I talk about this one half, and I put that over here. So there is a half. I go and take this one, and there's another half. And these two halves make one whole pizza. Now. I am left with one more half. I'm a hungry guy. I have one half over here. So I have one whole apple plus one other half. So one and a half, sorry, pizzas, not apples. One and a half pizzas. Okay, and that can be written a couple different ways. We talk about three halves. Remember when we talked about a fraction, we have both halves. The numerator says I have two out of two. When we get that third half, what happens is they talk about it being three halves, okay? Or you have one, two, three halves. So I would have one, two, and three. Now, obviously, I was not hungry enough to eat this fourth half, which gave me two whole pizzas. Now, another way to look at it is we came down here to fourths, okay? We talked about... Um, we have all these fourths over here. How many fourths do we have? Let's count them up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six fourths. Now that fraction would be, I always still look at my denominator, and I think I have four sections of that pizza is divided into. Now how many do I have of those fourths? I have six of them. So we write six over four. Then, if we go over here and we start dividing our pizza up, I want to have one, two, three, and four. And then five and six. So here are my six fourths. So I have one whole pizza, and then I have two more fourths, or another way to write that would be a one and a half pizzas. So we call that a mixed number where we have greater than one fraction. So I have one whole fraction over here. And then I have my two fourths or a half. So I could write that a couple ways. I could write one and two fourths, or I could write that one and a half. So I have my whole, and then I have two more fourths greater than that. Or I would have how many fourths total? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where the six fourths come in. Um, you're going to get a chance to do a little practice on the next page as you work through this together as a group. Always look at the denominator first. That's still telling you how many pieces your whole is divided into. Now, if you have 
you count these up. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and five fourths. So looking at that first one, how many fourths do I have? I have one, color them in, two, three, four, and five fourths. So I'd write five fourths. My fraction would be I have five of them, and always look at that denominator, which is my four in this case. So that still goes in the denominator spot. And writing a mixed number, I would go, I have one whole pizza, and I have one fourth of my second pizza. So a fraction that's greater than one. You're going to have an opportunity to do the next few together, um, and we'll practice more when I get back. Enjoy.